What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to The Chance Bishop Show for episode 57 of our MLB The Show 22 Philip Foyce franchise mode. We have William Bergola Jr. making his major league debut here in game 162 for the Philadelphia Phillies. It says he has no AAA stats. I'm pretty sure he's playing in AAA. I don't believe he was playing in AA, but he was playing in the minor league. He wasn't just kind of sitting around on the bench or in single A or anything. So, of course, MLB The Show being at its greatest right now, showing all of these stats that he apparently did not accumulate. But Bergola has been with this Phillies organization since the beginning. He was one of the top prospects. Uh, I believe he kind of touched over in our very first episode. I, I do believe. I'm like 12% sure. Speaking of top prospects, Sixto Sanchez, former Phillies top prospect, making his 33rd start of the season. He's 17, 7 the 322 ERA, 187 innings pitch, 165 hits a lot, a 108 whip of only 37 walks. Way to go, Sixto. Starts the game off, though, with a walk. How ironic. I just talk about how good he is with walks, and he allows a walk. Now, second batter up. That's a walk. All right, third batter up. That's a strikeout. All right, change up outside corner. Gets Bryce Harper swinging. First punch out of the game for Sixto. Now we have Nick Maton, who will draw a walk. Third walk of the inning for Sixto Sanchez. He's at 21 pitches with only one out. Kyle Schwarber up, and Schwarber sends that one deep right center field. That one gets down one hop, two hops off the wall. Two runs are in. Third run's coming home. That's going to be Nick Maton scoring all the way from first base right there. Nice RB, uh, three RBI double for Kyle Schwerber. Next man up, JT lines that one under the glove of the diving first baseman. Schwerber will score from second. JT with 70 speed head first slides into second. Now, 27 pitches in. It's a 4 nothing game. 6-0, only with one out. And that's enough for the manager here of the Marlins. It's game 162. No need to kill his starter. Hey, he's a young kid. 17-7, he had a very good season. No need to kill him. Now, Bo Brisic? Bresky? Brisky? All right, Bo here, though, in 66 games. is 10-1, 8 holes, 133, 133 innings pitch, a 377 year, right? 104 strikeouts to 61 walks. Nice. Good on him. First batter up, Derek Hall strikes out swinging right there. And up comes Julio, who will draw a walk. Fourth walk of the inning, William Bergola Jr. His first major league bat at bat grounds that one up the middle. Order from seconds going to go home. Run will be in time, and that's JT scoring from second. 5 nothing Phillies as Bergola has his first major league hit and RBI. The young shortstop, many, many more to come in his time here in Philadelphia. So let's get that ball. Let's take that back to the dugout. Toss that in their hand so they can put that at his locker so he can cherish it for later. Brisky right here, not having a good start to this game. A Soto comes up, grounds this one, snagged by the second baseman, jump throw, scooped by the first baseman in time. And mercifully, the inning is now over. Hans Kraus making his nine star season, three and seven so far on the year. A 6.50 ERA, 81 innings pitched, 90 hits all day, 158 whip, 39 uh, walks of 77 strikeouts. So Kraus mostly been in the bullpen, not having a very good year. First batter up grounds this one to Hall, who flips it to Kraus for the first out of the game. So doing much better so far than a six dump, as the second batter will strike out. So Kraus two outs now. So he's done double the work as Sixto Sanchez. And Luis Urias up, batting 312 grounds. This one back to Hans, who will scoop it and go to Hall in time for out number three. One, two, three, go the Marlins. Now it comes Alec Bohm. Bohm, batting 313 on the year, will strike on that 12 a 6 curveball. First, uh, seven, sorry, second punch out of the game for Bohm. Now Bryce Harper's up, 25 pitches in the end, uh, 25 pitches on the game. So far for the Marlins relief pitcher, as Harper will draw himself a walk. Up will come Nick Maton yet again, who will swing and a miss on the circle changeup. That's the second out of the inning, and the third punch out of the game for the Marlins relief pitcher. Kyle Schwarber up, takes that hanging circle change to left field, though caught in the air for the final out. 
Now Kraus back on the mound. It's Jesus Sanchez sends that one deep to right. Harper giving chase, looking up, jumping, and gone. That is a home run right there. 23rd in the season for Sanchez. As the Marlins cut this lead down to four runs. All right, Marlins not going down quietly this game. I mean, hey, they're a scrappy team. I don't blame them for not wanting to go down easily. David Bell, not quite happy with his starter after that home run. But hey, home runs happen. Sometimes you make a good pitch and the batter just makes a very good swing. Luan Diaz up. Who will strike out? So Kraus getting back on track after the home run. Second of the game. And now here comes Jazz Chisholm. You like Jazz? I like strikeouts. Third of the game now for Kraus. So two outs now here in the second inning. And Khalil Watson's up and Watson grounds this one to the right side. Nick Maton gets it on the run, throwing in time to end the second. JT Remuto leads off the third with a full count. And that's going to be a ground ball hit to the shortstop. Who will fire to first in time for out number one? So one down now here at the top of the third inning. Bo still out there for his third inning of work. And Derek Hall's up, grounds this one to Jesus Sanchez, who will pick it. Step on the bag himself for some first baseman on first baseman violence. That's unfortunate right there. I'm sorry, it's Luis Diaz, actually. I'm sorry, Luis Diaz is the first baseman. Julio Rodriguez up in Rodriguez. He shoots that one over to second, who goes to Diaz in time for out number three. Now, here we have a leadoff batter here in the bottom of the third. That one's going to fall. Rodriguez gets it, and he's going to flip it into the infield for a leadoff single. Now, runner on first base. Now, up comes Johnson, who will strike out. Look on that low slider. Johnson not happy with the call as Krause picks up his fourth punch out. Brian Anderson up, and Anderson kind of grounds that one past the diving Derek Hall. Harper gets to it quickly. Very strong throw to third base in time. Now Victor Mesa Jr. grounds that one to Bohm, who snags it in the air. It's more of a liner. That's why they call it the hot corner. Urias up now, and Urias, just like in the first, grounds out to Hans Kraus. So no runs this inning. As we have Bergola Jr. leading off the fourth with a base hit. That one gets down, and that one's going to roll to the left center field wall. 74 speed for the young shortstop. He's from second. He's going to third. That will be a dead duck right there. Dead on the water is Bergola, who gets thrown out trying to go it from a double to a triple. Juan Soto's up now. With now he's got a full count. He's going to watch strike three go by on the outside corner. So Brisky out for his fourth inning of work. 61 pitches. He is doing the work definitely right now as Bohm will fly out to center. More of a line out to center right there. But it's over for the Phillies. And leading off will be Jesus Sanchez. One for one the home run. Sends that one to right. Harper comes in and makes the catch for the first out. So one down now for the Marlins here in the bottom of the fourth inning. As they will be sending Luis Diaz up. Diaz who is 0 for 1. Strikes out for the second time in the game. So back-to-back -back outs now for Kraus. He's got five punch outs here in the game. With upcoming Jazz Chisholm, who's 0 for 1. Jazz Chisholm make it 0 for 2 with back-to-back -back punch outs, and that's going to end the fourth inning. So on to the top of the fifth inning now for Philadelphia. Phillies still lead 5-1. It's going to have Bryce Harper. Frisky opening up his fifth inning of work as that infield chopper will... Not be hit slow enough to get the infield single. Harper thrown at first. Nick Maton now in that cleanup spot. Sends that high fastball deep to left center. Center fear though. He settles under it and is going to make the catch for the second out. So two away now here in the top of the fifth inning. Uh, Brisky. Or Brisecki. Brisket. Whatever his name is. BB. And Schwarber making the first go 1 2 3 yet again as Schwarber rolls down over the second baseman. Who goes to first in time? 1 2 3 go the Phillies. And out will come Cleo Watts in that 7 hole. 7 hole hitter up, pops this one into the infield. JT throws the mass, settles under it, and makes the catch. One down now here in the bottom of the fifth inning. As Kraus, after lighting that home run, it has been masterful. Jose Herrera right now sends that one left center field. 
Rodriguez ranges over. He's going to make the catch. That's going to be out number two. So, Marlins, in fear of going one, two, three here in the inning, as Chris, I'm sorry, Osiris Johnson. That's a Chris Johnson. It's Osiris Johnson. Strikes out. So, one, two, three, go to Marlins as Kraus exits the field. And in comes Corbin Martin, making his 15th appearance on the season. He's one and two with 23 innings pitched, a 540 ERA. 25 strikeouts to 7 walks. Righties are teeing off against Mr. Martin here. And first batter up, JT the righty. He pops up to the infield. That's going to be 2. It's actually shallow outfield. It's going to be a cool Watson the shortstop. One down now here in top of the 6. Up comes Derek Hall, who will also pop this one up. Shortstop's got it again. Shallow left field. There you go. That's going to be back-to-back pop-ups to the shortstop. And now we have two outs in the inning. Julio Rodriguez trying not to go one, two, three. Fastball, middle, middle, hit dead center field. That ball's back, looking up and gone over the wall in dead center. Julio Rodriguez, 15th home run of the season. If you guys don't remember, Julio Rodriguez has had a very short season so far of Philadelphia, only being here since the All-Star break, or the trade deadline. Acquired in the trade deadline here. For Mickey Moniak, 15 home runs, not bad. Following up, that's a liner up the middle. So back-to-back -back base hits here for the Phillies as they are rallying now with two away. Juan Soto up, and Soto strikes out, swinging to end the rally. Brian Anderson leads off the six with a walk. Man on first base. Now first walk issued by Kraus. Now Victor Mesa Jr. up. Who sends that one to right? Harper. Ranges to his right, right, left. Yeah, right. I guess. I don't know. He ranges to a direction, makes the catch. Next batter up, sends that one deep to left. Soto giving chase, looking up, jumping, and gone. Second home run of the game allowed by Kraus. 31st this season for Luis Urias. 31, isn't he like a second baseman or a shortstop or something? Guy packs a lot of pump for a pop for a little man. But Urias you know, makes this game a little closer with that home run right there. Kraus has allowed his second of the game. Three earned runs total. Now it's a 6-3 to three game. I mean, cutting the lead in half is never a fun thing to do. Jesus Sanchez up and Sanchez strikes out swinging. So there's two outs now as Kraus has 8 on the day. And Diaz 0 for 2. Make it 0 for 3 with yet another punch out. So Diaz leads into Lou Trevino, who comes in 62 games, 3-1, and one, is seven, uh, 14 for 17 in save opportunities, 54 in his pitch, a 3 year, a 38, 36 strikeout to walks, 245 and 234 are the righty lefty splits. So first better up, Alec Bohm sends that one deep to left center. That one's going to clear the wall right there. Alec Bohm not really known for his power, but he's got 32 on the year. And you like to see that when you're non-power hitting third baseman. Connects for 32 on a season. So you really like to see stuff like that from Alec Bohm. You know, he's kind of been like an offense first guy, but never really a power first guy. So I'm glad to see now that the average and the power are both coming. Following that home run, it's going to be a walk to Bryce Harper. So first two Phillies of the inning, they get on base safely. Following that up with the Nick Mayton fly out to moderate center field. So fly to moderate center field right there for Mayton. It's now, it's now one out here in the inning. And then will come Danny Jimenez. Jimenez in 61 games is 1-2 and two with 6 holds. 64 innings pitched, a 464 ERA. 54 strikeouts, 31 walks, 219, 257 are the righty lefty splits. All right, Kyle Schwarber leads it off with a walk. Good, good, good idea there, head coach of the Marlins. Finally got walks the first batter he faces. You like to see stuff like that happen. Derek Hall one two swing the miss on the fastball. Not afraid to bring the heat. Julio Rodriguez who's homered strikes out as well. Back to back punch outs ends the seventh, and Jazz Chisholm leads off the bottom. That one's hit deep to left field. Soto giving chase on the run. Turning around and will make the catch. Nice easy catch for Juan Soto. Out there in left field. 
Now here we go, Khalil Watson, ground ball to Boehm, who's got the iron glove, firing the first in time for the second out. So Marlins try not to go one, two, three yet again, as they will send none other than Jose Herrera to the mound, or to the plate. He's going to kind of get the head of the bat on that one, send that one to center field. Rodriguez ranges under it and it makes the catch to end the seventh inning. One, two, three goes Miami. So in comes another reliever for the Marlins, Luis Sessa. 57 games, one and one with a save. 53 innings pitched, a 352 ERA, 32 and 22. Struggle to walk ratio, 273, 275 are these splits. So pretty consistent on uh, average hits allowed. But first, better up sends that one deep to center field. That one's back, looking up and caught by that center fielder. So close yet so far away. And up comes Juan Soto, who will swing a miss on that inside slider. Oof, that's a that's a tough stroke right there. Now Alec Bohm up and Bohm sends that one to right field under the glove of the second baseman. That's going to be a two out single. So two out rally right now. Bryce Harper sends that slider deep center field looking up and gone. That's a two out two run home run. 48th on the season. 400 big ones for Bryce Harper. You love to see that one right there. David Bell, round of applause, young fella, big boy home runs for Bryce Harper. So Harper high five the teammates as he comes to the bench and in comes Edward Cabrera. 62 games, he's 9-11 with a blown save, 145 innings pitched, a 426 year rate, 140 to 58 struck of stalks, 272 and a 312 are the average splits. Lefty. Nick Maton's up, and lefty Nick Maton will put that one into center field under the glove of the shortstop. So that 312 average, that pays off pretty well. Way to go, Nick Maton, on the base hit. You like to see it. Now lefty Kyle Schwarber sends that outside slider deep right center. That one's back, and that one's going to one-hop the wall. Off the base, Schwarber's at second. Maton goes first to third. So a double four short for his 30 second. Now we have JT who will ground that one to the shortstop. Throw to first in time. That's going to end off the eighth. Now Johnson leads off the eighth with a sinking ball to right. Harper can't play it. Kind of kicks off the heel of his glove. That's going to be a leadoff single for the Marlins. So Johnson on first. Up comes Brian Anderson who will strike out on that slider. So Anderson strikes out 10th of the game for Kraus. Now here we have Victor Mesa Jr. who will strike out as well. That's the 11th of the game. Second of the inning for Kraus. Up comes Urias who's homeward once. Ground ball to Bohm who will. He'll, he'll misplay it. Drop it. Go to first. Caught by Hall in time. Miguel Castro up right now in 46 games. He's 0-4. 26 old. 37 is pitched. 5.30 ERA, 46.26 struggles to walks, and 205-290 are the righty-lefty splits. Derek Hall leads off uh, the ninth inning with a circle change down the gut. That ball's hit very deep to left. That one's off the base of the wall. Misplay by the left fielder. That ball rolls more or less to, uh, to mid-center field. And Hall has himself a triple, his first of the season. Julio Rodriguez up, and Julio goes down swinging. That's the first out of the inning. First of the game for Miguel Castro. Now Bergola up, who will strike out as well on the inside slider. Back-to-back -back punch outs for Miguel, as there's now two outs here in this ninth inning. Next batter up, Soto, ground ball, gloved by the second baseman over to Diaz in time at the end of the ninth. Lead off triple, and he doesn't score. Hans Kraus going for the complete game. 3-2 count, ground ball, line ball actually. That's going to be gloved by Bergola for out number one. So, one down now here for uh, the Miami Marlins as they are now two outs away. Luin Diaz up and Diaz sends that one to left in front of Juan Soto. That's going to be a one out single for the Miami Marlins. Now Jazz Chisholm's up and Jazz Chisholm grounded a Maton who will... Go to second, Bergola going to first, not in time. It's a bad transfer from Maton, but hey, 
Two outs now, bottom of the ninth. Ground ball back to Krause. Who will fire to Derek Hall? And that's going to be the final out. So a complete game of four Hans Krause here in game 162. Bergola makes his MLB debut. He picked up his first major league hit and an RBI and just missed a home run. So it's a 9-3 victory. Fourth of the season for Krause. Eighth loss for six, though. You hate to see it. Schwarber player of the game, two for four, two doubles, and three RBIs. You like to see that right there. Boehm had two for four for a home run. Harper went one for three with a home run. JT had one for four with a double and an RBI. The Phillies finished season 109 and 53. That's good for a 673 win percentage. You like to see that right there. They, of course, are going to make the postseason. Now, take a look at Soto, who was hurt for part of this season, had 29 home runs. 32 from Alec Bohm, 48 for Bryce Harper. Reese Hoskins had 20. That's unfortunate. Schwarber had 26. Cassianos had 22. Stott had 26. JT had 16. And Julio had 15 in his short stint in Philly. Johan Rosas had a home run during the season. Ohape had 11. Bergola Jr. only had a couple hits and five at bats. And Derek Hall only two home runs and 45 at bats. Now for the starters, Nola went 16 and 7 with 175 strikes. That's a 319 ERA. 15 9 for Zach Wheeler with 166 punch outs. 17 6 for Sasaki with a bunch of strikeouts. Abel went 15 4 with 157 strikeouts. And Painter went 16 5 with 190 strikeouts. Alright, Bumgarner, 57 strikeouts and 96 innings pitched. 8 and 3 with a 317 ERA. Krauss finished season with a 615 ERA out of the pen. McGarry. Fish with a 435. Clay Holmes finished with a 536. Alvarado with a 467. Marco Pell with a 226 ERA. 435 for Jorge Lopez. And Josh Hader, a 247 ERA. With how many saves? Let's see how many saves he got. He had 51 saves. Way to go, Josh Hader. That's a good.